Hi, Chris Eager, Guns.com. Welcome back to this episode of Select Fire. We're here in sunny Phoenix, Arizona at POF USA, Patriot Ordnance Factory. We're going to check out their sweet rifles. Man, they got a lot of cool stuff going on in here. Let's check it out. Since 2002, POF USA has been making innovative and high-quality firearms that have garnered the respect of the entire firearms community. The company was led by its fearless founder, Frank DeSilma. Hey guys, welcome to Patriot Ordnance Factory. Until 2020, when a tragic car accident claimed his life. As Frank would have wanted, his family carried on where he left off. The company's latest firearm is the Tombstone, a magazine-fed 9mm lever-action carbine. On this tour, we'll see where the magic happens with a focus on the tombstone. That is a fully built tombstone. How's it going, sir? Hey, Chad, good to see you, man. Thanks for coming by. I'll give you the, uh, the nickel tour. Okay, let's, let's do it. This factory moved in here in 2018. Uh, it's 27,000 square feet. We get about 42 employees right now. My sister Marley's basically runs purchasing. Um, we have our sales offices upstairs, my mom's office, my dad's office is pretty much the way it sets since, since the accident. Still very much like a family business. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's me, my mom, my sister Marley's running purchasing, my sister Katie's running accounting. Uh, my brother-in-law Jackson runs assembly. Um, my uncle John runs shipping, so it's still very much a blessing and a curse having all the family around, but that's that's been our model since we've started, so. Try and keep it the same, try and keep everybody comfortable. We don't want anybody feeling like they're not a part of the team, not a part of the family. Gotcha, gotcha. Let's go check out the floor. Yeah. So these two machines are HX400 Kitamoras. It's, it's a horizontal pallet changing machine. So there's gonna be eight pallets that we call them tombstones. This is the extrusion actually that's gonna start the tombstone handguard. Okay. So it starts out at 6061 um, aircraft aluminum extruded and then we're going to finish the product um, and, and you can definitely when we get to the next station you can see the weight difference that's taken out from the raw extrusion with these machines we also do all of our billet uppers and lowers so the the 415 lowers the uh, revolution lowers revolution uppers they're all going to get made on these machines and we've got two of them the other one's on the other side So we started off that, that raw piece of extrusion okay, yeah, yeah. that was over on that Kitamora machine. This is what it's going to come out off the Kitamora. And you can see the difference from op one to the final product. Yeah. Um, wow, that's so light. From this stage to final product is about 13 minutes total um, doing it. And we're getting two at a time. So in 26 minutes, we've got two hand guards. And there's like so much done to this and it's so light. I'll throw on paper airplanes that are heavier than this. We're cutting almost two pounds of material from pure extrusion to final product. Is that out right? Of that. And when you're talking two pounds of aluminum, that's actually a lot of material. Yeah, yeah. I mean. All of our tombstones receivers for the lever action are going to start out as billet. So that's uh -huh. the start finished product. Good Lord. And you can feel the weight difference. We're cutting a lot of material. You can see this is the, the stages right here. Op one, then it'll get lasered. Op two and then it will finish it off. Yeah, that's a lot of fine machining down in there. It's a lot of chips, but doing it in the way that we're doing it's the only way that we can ensure all these holes are gonna be true. Oh yeah, spec. yeah, yeah. So in the next process that we're running over here is our the actual levers. So it's 4150, we're gonna start out as a billet block of 4150. So this is steel, not aluminum then? Steel, yes sir. There, this is gonna be off one. So they cut the profile and then we'll flip it on the mount and he'll take it to the next machine and cut that off and finish it. Okay, so um, then you wind up with a lever? With the lever, and you can see the weight difference. Again, that's a, out of steel, we're cutting a lot of material, a lot of weight out of it. And this, this is so light, it almost feels like aluminum, yep. but. But again, it's 4150. 4150. And the, the big reason, this is 4150, all the internal links in this tombstone, which when we build it, we just can show you again, but it's all S7. S7 because cool this too. is a toggle link, those links are what's holding uh, the, the concussion from firing. It's not a rotating bolt. So all those parts that are interacting with the bolt and the linkage system need to be out of steel so we don't have to down the line of long-term use. They're not gonna fall apart, get damaged, bend, break. We tried to pick really heavy-duty steels 
Um, again, doing it out of billet adds a lot of cost, but as far as the strength and rigidity over, over the life of the product, that's why we picked those materials. So you guys are building these guns to run and stay running. Yeah, if you're buying a nine mil lever action gun, you're gonna run it suppressed. I mean, let's face it, so it's gotta hold up to the pressure, the back pressure from the suppressors and the abuse. Because if you're doing a nine mil is cheap ammo, you're gonna shoot it a lot, it needs to hold up. What kind of testing uh, protocol do you guys have for the triggers you use? Uh, so for like our AR triggers, every trigger is going to get run. So what Mike's doing right here is after the triggers are assembled, he's going to put them in the machine. It's going to do 10 pulls. Um, so we'll keep that read out for every trigger, but it also is double checking to make sure the sear and the disconnect aren't double firing, um, not slipping off the disconnect making sure it's a safe trigger. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, we do that for everyone just because the biggest liability you have in a firearm, besides your headspace and lockup, is the firing mechanism. All right, so this is the new Tombstone. This is actually a 12 and a half inch SBR. I'm very excited about this gun. You know, we got mixed re reviews on the internet, but right now this is our number one selling product. Um, so people smack talk it, but then they also buy it after they smack talk it. They do, and, and, and that's really the thing for me is, like I said, we want to be different. We went down a path that I don't think anybody expected, expected and we had a lot of fun doing it. Um, and the end product, I think it speaks for itself, but when we go in and shoot it, you'll understand why. That's fun. There's no recoil on it. It's light, handles great. Got a short throw on it. Reminds me a little bit of uh, kind of like a, a Browning BLR, you know, because it's it's a pretty short throw, and it comes right up, and you're just you're just all day, boom, boom, boom. Everything is billet machined. Uh, the internal linkage system is S7. All the internal parts, the bolt, uh, trigger, hammer, everything is DLC coated, nice and smooth, um, very quick, and then it uses our Phoenix mag. So. 5, 10, 15, 20 round mags, and 35 round mags. Um, it's a different product, it's unique, and it's a lot of fun. And I, I've noticed that a lot of your products, you know, they'll be kind of really innovative and really like you're the only one that has it. And then suddenly a few years later, like a, a bigger manufacturer comes out with something almost exactly like it, you know, so. Hey man, it's, it's uh joking around with some of the other people in the industry. Imitation is flattery. At least you know if I, I know if we put the time into engineering and develop something and, and a bigger name comes out with it, at least we were on the right track and it wasn't a dumb idea. All right. Well, hope you guys enjoyed our visit to POF USA as much as we did. If you're looking for any of their stuff, head on over to guns.com. Also, if you're looking for any sort of ammo, optics, accessories, anything gun related, you probably got it. We'll catch you on the next episode of Select Fire.